Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Tabaxi where on my way to the Sohuagin Lair I ran into uh, this sunken ship and Verna seems to be a little bit anxious about this. So much for the green crocken. At least I and the rest of the crew made it off the ship before she went down. All that cargo though is important and valuable. I hate to think of those scaly lunatics making off with it. Still, I'm not about to take on those lizard folk by myself. Hmm. I might be able to salvage the cargo for you. Where is it? Uh, what is it? And what will I be up against? Well, the cargo is smuggled wine packed in long crates. It should be down the hold in the marsh shipwreck over there. Unless those deranged lizard folk have made off with it after they sunk the ship. Uh, find the cargo, deal with the lizard folk that you find, and I'll reward you. Okay. I think I would have been much more pleased with this particular quest if it were so walking I was going to be killing rather than lizard folk. But alright, let's go. Let's find out what's in this hijacked hall. And perhaps maybe these lizard folk were part of that rebellion and they... The crates the sailor mentioned yet. aren't anywhere on this deck. They must be somewhere below. All right, below. So where... Oh, I guess this is below. What do you got here? Oh. Oh, some of that stuff. Yeah, that could come in handy. But that implies that I'll be needing to do some swimming. Ah, yes, that's what this is all about. Oh. Over here. There's a gaping hole in the ship's hull. Beyond it, you can see a cave leading down into the depths of the water. How much time do I have left on this? About a minute. Well, I could only hope that I find some air before then. Up here. Oops, a daisy. I'm not going to find air. Okay, okay. This isn't going to be good. It looks like I misjudged this one completely. Well, let's see if I can get back up and make another attempt where I have a little bit more time to find... to find what I seek. First, let's renew my air supply. Then I can make another attempt. I hope... that wasn't the only moss that there was. <laughs> Oh boy. It appears that the moss is one time use. So, I just have to be happy that. Oh! <laughs> it reactivated right as I cast my ring. Oh, that was. I am really bad at actually getting down quickly, aren't I? Now, which way do I need to go and will I be able to use my time properly this round? Looks like I get lost as soon as I come down here and completely disoriented. Well, this is yeah, I have no idea where I'm at can't see. I don't know where I need to go. Or anything like that. And as a result, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Right? Let's see. Oh, hold on. Or is this back? Actually, I think that's back where I came from. Ah. 
many attempts am I going to have to make before I... Yeah, I am just getting stuck in places where... I'm not. Let's see. We're going up here. Oh! It's, it's the cave I'm needing to get to. Okay! For a moment there, I thought I was heading back to the ship. Well, I'm in the cave now? That's even better. That means I can actually complete the mission. There you go. Now, where was I? The underwater cave opens up into a large cavern. You appear to have found the lizard folk who hijacked the sailor's cargo. They must be rebel ones, otherwise they wouldn't have gone around hijacking the cargo, right? I mean, do they have a taste for wine or something like that? Alright, let's see. Let's head on out this way. There are doorways to the north and to the south. The north door is sealed, leaving the south as your only option. Alright, memorandum. Um... Dracoslizad, Dracoslizad, you are tasked to monitor the coast and track the smuggling craft that I have indicated. There are certain cargo shipments we should attempt to obtain. They are essential for our cause. High Shaman Kethan. Okay, well, they're involved with High Shaman Kethan, who I believe is the High Shaman who set up that rebellion last time. So, I have lost my qualms about killing these folk. I mean, if you surrender, then no problem. Uh, they don't show any signs of surrendering. Now, of course, the fact that I stuck a couple of knives at their throats might be the reason they weren't surrendering, but that's an entirely different matter. Maybe I should try talking to them. Hello there! Would you like to be... Okay. Answer that question. If they don't like cats, maybe. Yep, that's always a possibility. Southern. Unlock the sealed northern passageway. Alright, so that means that round here is going to be the. Oh, I thought it was just going to be a simple lever. But. I don't think so now. Hey, how about a heal? Thank you. Now, where were we? Now... Uh, this is... Alright. Let's... Turn those off. I cannot turn that one off. And I cannot turn that one off. See, so how am I going to do this one without getting electrocuted? I think electrocution is the most likely attack type that they'll have in this place, but. Hmm. Alright, let's try that. Oh. That. Ah, that's what we want. Good. 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 All right, so we just have to turn that one, and we should have that lit. Just make sure that nothing gets activated on that front. Okay, make sure nothing... Ooh, almost missed that one, didn't I? Okay, just make sure that none of those go and send me into any type of shock. Uh, oh. Oh, hmm. Okay, and... 
gears whir into action, and the ground shakes as a massive door grinds open nearby. Then there's a sudden clatter of stone. It seems that the shaking caused a nearby cave wall to collapse. Alright, I'll have to check in and find out what cave wall collapsed or anything like that, as opposed to everything else. Oh, that must be the collapsed cave wall. Into here. The newly revealed passageway leads into another section of the caverns. The okay. rasping sound of lizard folk voices can be heard further in the distance. Alright, let's see. You can go there. So, Alright. Thank you. Useful going into a dungeon with the rogue. I don't get to do that too often. At least not with an NPC rogue. A trio of lizard folk guard a nearby door. Alright, let's see. Well, first of all, let you do a little searching just in case. Alright, so let's attack! It looked like there might have been a trap there, so I just be cautious. You find the key to open the nearby door on the corpse of one of your defeated opponents. Okay. Ooh. What's here? Okay. We've got a throwing axe. Not much use to a monk, I am pretty sure. And then let's try. Oops, a daisy. Do some searching. Ah, over here. Good. Oh, another memorandum. A random memorandum. Falcon says, You are tasked with monitor the coast and Oh. Oh, this is where it was before. Ha! <laughs> Ah, and that's now open. That is where I came from, I think. So that leads, I was going to say down here, but I think up might be a more appropriate word. Looking closely, you can see that the cave continues beyond the cascading spray of the waterfall. Yeah. How about they cast? Skating figures of rebels. There you go. Open up. Oh. Going down further. Hmm. Peering into the pool, you can see an underwater tunnel leading to the north. Well, I'll just take a quick rest before I head down. I really don't need it all that much, but I suspect I'm never going to be back here, so watch it. I get killed and wind up right back here immediately, right? Is there any moss around here? Nope, so I guess it's expecting me to... Well, I've got the underwater... I rested, so I've got that again. Ah, here we are. This way. Round. And up. And about. Oh. Oh. I guess that was the best way up. Ah, yes. Now, let's get our friends up here, just because they might not know how to do it otherwise. And let's have a little vandalism. And head out this way. 
what can go wrong? Two sealed doors lead off of this chamber. One to the west, and one to the south. One to the what? Two sealed doors. Well, the seal's not very good if I could just pull the a The door opens to reveal a powerful lizard folk warrior. The creature curses you in an unfamiliar language as it falls. I would have thought with my previous adventure, I would have probably heard some of the language down there, unless he has an unknown dialect of the lizard folk language. There you go, there you go. Oh well. That's not going away. Ooh! And not turning into a mimic? Okay. Holy plus one quarter staff of diversion one. Not that I'm using staves, but... Alright, I guess that'll be... Potentially useful. Now, is this one... Ah, okay, this one also has a lever. And who's inside of this place? Hi! I was going to say if you wanted to surrender, but then you shot me with an arrow, so I'm going to guess that's a no. Oh, who opened up the door? I'm very suspicious about that. Lizard folk suddenly leap down from the darkness above. Well, I'll just leap down from the... Oh. Whatever, I'll just attack you. Not much. Your turn. Oh. Oh, and your turn. Gone. Good. Another shrine? Hmm. I don't think I need one quite yet. Not worry about that. Let's just. You can see a pile of crates matching the sailor's description on the other side of the room. Ah, okay. It was a pre boss fight. Set. So I'm going to assume that there's going to be a boss as soon as I head into here. Okay. You two get inside so that we could be ready for the whatever boss leaps out. This boss is going to be... As you approach the crates, you hear a guttural voice. These weapons are needed for the High Shaman's plan. Then the Lizard Folk drop from above. The Lizard Folk traitor is dead. Now, to recover the cargo you were sent here to find. Inside the crate, you now find not wine, but rather a brand new sword ready for battle. It seems that they were... Misled on the smuggler's cargo. Okay, I have a word. You found the crates you were looking for, but they contain weapons, not wine. It seems that sailor wasn't telling the truth. Oh, a smuggler lied to me? What a shock! I I could never. I I just can't believe such a thing. Really? Is this the same memorandum I read before? I am pleased to hear that the cargo has been intercepted. The Queen arranged to purchase weapons from the smoothskin smugglers, but the fool intends to waste them on her futile attempt to defeat the Sohuagin. Instead, we will use them in our glorious uprising. All right, so, the fact that I recovered them, I can only hope that we can get them to the Queen so that they could be properly used. I must say, that's the sharpest wine I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, well, <clears throat> maybe I didn't tell the complete truth. Recently, the Queen of the Lizard Folk has been buying up all the weapons she can to get her claws on. When our ship was delivering the smuggled cargo to her, when that other group of Lizard Folk attacked the ship. From what you tell me, sounds like there's some 
kind of infighting amongst the tribe and that the rebels were trying to grab the queen's weapon shipment. I didn't want to get mixed up in all that, so it was easier to <clears throat> tell you that the cargo was just fine. Anyway, uh, you did good. Here, here, leave, here, have this. Well, I took care of the uprising, so that's some good news at least. Uh, what does she have for me? Ooh. Outfit of Electrical Resistance 3. Plus 4 Magical Resistance. Outfit of Electrical Resistance. Okay, so. Plus 4 Magical Sheltering. Plus 3 Enhancement of Magic Resistance. And Electrical Resistance 8. Hmm. That one's very, very tempting. Or Deceiving One Goggles of Spell Penetration. I'll, I'll take the outfit. Alright, uh, thank you very much. And I guess that's the end of that little dungeon. Now, before I go, though, I wanted to show my latest things in my build, where I took just enough Infestani Knife Fighter to get the Deadly Blades thing, which I think we discussed. Was it Deadly Blades, or was it... Uh, I took something, I think it was Deadly Blades that I took in order to give me the ability to not have to worry about being centered. But what I've since then added was that I now have sharp claws. I've added that since the last time. So now I'm at plus one sharp claws. And I've also. I thought I added to my dexterity ability score, but obviously I have did not do that properly. So I'm going to have to fix that next time. I forgot to hit accept, I guess. But that's the next thing I'm going to be doing is bumping up my dexterity so I could get an even number on my dexterity again. Because I went to an odd number when I brought myself up to level 4. But that's it for our episode today, and I'll see you next time when we head out into the Sohuagan Lair in Piney Place, the Tabaxi.